I'm finally going to be jarring all of my Tabasco, my fermented Tabasco peppers. They've been fermenting for goodness, about a year now. We picked them last October and now it is October. But it is definitely time to jar these puppies. Now the reason why I've kind of procrastinated doing this is I wasn't quite sure how to jar a fermented pepper that I wanted to keep on the shelf instead of just immediately putting it in the refrigerator. Because I have so much of it, we're not gonna be able to store it all in the fridge. So I did a little research and found out that you just need to make sure your jars are sanitized and any other thing that you're gonna be working with, like my blender, I'll be getting that out. So I ordered 30 of these cute little jars here and I'm going to make sure they get sanitized. Now, I've seen some people just use hot water and soap, but I've also seen a lot of people use this called star sand. This is something that people use if you brew beer or make mead, as a, and you use it to sanitize all your tools, your bottles. I already had this on hand because Nathan makes his own mead. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna use this, it'll be perfect. I'm just gonna take the bottles and the caps, and I have a five gallon bucket down here, and I'm just gonna start putting all the bottles in here and the caps. I've seen a lot of people use gloves. Um, why isn't that going in? It's not like filling all the way up in there. Oh, I see. It's got a little cap. You probably should use gloves, I just, I don't. I also don't have any. <coughs> and I'm not sure if I already said this, but I'm gonna be making Tabasco sauce today. And Tabasco sauce is just a combination. I gotta make sure all the water gets in there. combination of salt, Tabasco peppers, and vinegar. Now since these are have already been fermented, I don't need to put salt in them. I'm just going to be adding vinegar today. And I can kind of decide how much vinegar I want. soak for a minute, but I'm just putting them all in. And then I'll take them all out. I went ahead and sanitized everything according to the instructions on that Star Zans bottle. Everything looks shiny clean and then we're ready to go. You don't have to ferment them as long as I did. I would say at least three weeks, if not a few months. It just makes it better. So we'll see. Open it up and see how it smells. But it smells great. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be awesome. Now smell? You want to come smell it, Lily? Now just be careful. It's strong. So it's gonna make you might make you cough a little bit Pickles. <laughs> now the tops of these jars do, they do get rusted over a over time Honestly had to have Nathan help me open these bigger jars yesterday because they can get quite stuck. And you can get fermenting lids that are plastic and that don't have this issue. I heard mixed reviews on those, so maybe I'll try, a, maybe I'll order some on Amazon and see how I like them. Because it can be frustrating when the jar gets stuck. So what I wanna do is I wanna pour out all the liquid. I guess you could use a strainer. I always just kinda do it this way. <laughs> try for try not to cough here. Let's grind up our first batch and I think that we'll just put everything in a very large bowl that I'll also sanitize with the stars in. And from there, actually, I'm gonna grind them up first 
Then I want to get the seeds out of them because this is going to be Tabasco sauce. I don't want the seeds in there. Normally I don't really care, but with this one, I want to strain those seeds out. So I'm going to grind it up, strain it, put it in a bowl. <laughs> Do you want to try opening one up and straining it out for me? You know what? It might be just easier if we just use a strainer. I got the strainer out for her to make it a bit easier. wear gloves when you're working with hot peppers. I don't have any gloves. My little child, she took them all. I don't know where they all went. Okay. Do you want to strain all the jars? If you don't mind, yeah. That'd be great help. Get through this faster. But I want to grind it up a bit more. There's still some up here on the top that didn't quite get in there. sanitized bowl and we're going to strain out these seeds. I think we've just about got it. A little bit coming out here and there. Straining it all. They're not as much as I thought there would be. We'll see. We'll see. I went ahead and just decided to remove about half of the seeds. Tabasco peppers do have a lot of seeds. If you see here, these are all the ones I took out. And there's some in there. I know traditionally your Tabasco sauce won't have seeds, but I thought I might add some in to add a little bit more heat, you know? I like really hot stuff. Now we're just going to kind of slowly add in some vinegar. This is a white wine vinegar I've seen other people use for making Tabasco sauce. We'll try that out. I'm just going to kind of slowly add it and then taste it a little bit with a toothpick. And we'll just kind of wing it and see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm gonna go right to your little table. Oh, that is, that is spicy. It definitely needs more vinegar. He's a bad. I don't know about you, but ever since the pandemic, I have had a really hard time finding Tabasco sauce, which is frustrating. I always like to keep it on hand in the house in case I'm making a gumbo or red beans and rice. I gotta have some Tabasco sauce in it. That was spicy, oh my gosh. That's better. Let me try to not cough here. <laughs> Having an outdoor kitchen would be really nice for this kind of stuff because working with really spicy stuff, it gets in the air and you're like, oh my God. <laughs> so, yeah. So I went ahead and stopped adding vinegar. I think in the end I added maybe two thirds of a cup to a cup of that white wine vinegar. And it is spicy, y'all. It's quite a bit spicier than your Tabasco sauce from the store. But I think it's pretty awesome. So I think we're ready to bottle it. I'm excited. I got these cute little funnels. And I think the smallest one I got will just barely work. Lily, you wanted to help me with this sauce part? Yeah. Okay. I had Lily turn on the all house fan for us because just to get in some fresh air because I'm telling you what, I've been doing some coughing in here. Not on my hot sauce though, of course. <laughs> 
So I think I'm gonna need your help to kind of hold this. I thought this would be the right size to fit these jars, but it's not quite. So I'm just gonna need, you, you could hold it for me or I could hold it either way. Just make sure it's on there so it's not falling out. After the sauce is in there, you can just put one of these tops on and screw it on. And we also have these little guys that go on top. And I see Nate does have his heat gun, so maybe he can help me do that. And then they'll be secure, tight. There it goes. The chopstick did it. Think, Lily, is that full enough? Mm-hmm. So good. That's a good. <laughs> fancy. <laughs> it does feel fancy. I've got fancy hot sauce jars. <laughs> I thought at first I thought I was just gonna do these in just little pint jars, but I saw these and they were a pretty good deal. No, Lily, we just need to come up with a name. We need to get cute little labels. helped me bottle them all. We've got an empty bowl here. And we came out with about 14 bottles. But this last one is not full as you see. I'll just put this one in the fridge and we'll enjoy that one. And if anybody has any names, I need to come up with a name for this hot sauce. I'm gonna be ordering some little labels and I need to figure out what the name will be. So if you have any suggestions, just put them down in the comments. That was fun. <laughs> I've never done that before. I've, I've always just had my habanero hot sauce that I mix with garlic and onions and then I let that ferment for quite a while and then I drain out the water and grind that all up, put it in a jar and that's my hot sauce. So this is my first time putting in them in these cute little bottles. All right, y'all, thanks for hanging out with me. Take care and we'll see you next time.